Here we go for another joining me fold up some orders on a Monday afternoon. Thought today, kind of realised that if I'm going to be doing these videos every day, treating each one like it needs to be a lesson is probably going to get pretty tiring for me. And also, um, I don't know how many, how much that, well, there's a lot to say, but how long is that going to last before there needs to be a breakup? So I thought today, I'll just run you through the day. I'll run you through what I've been up to and what I've got to do. So, uh, and also I'm going to just fire some shots along the way. So, this morning, after all my normal gym sauna situations, uh, I headed to the handpick and I found a whole lot of stuff. So, insert the clip where I'm down the bottom and Marge is there and you can see all that stuff now. I almost guarantee this will make Marge jump. You ready? Yo! Did you hear that? You really wouldn't have heard that. Just bringing the camera down to have a little look. This is, oh my God, all the stuff has been moved already. Some stuff that's been brought down. Look at this little, wait, Mon Clearsy. But yeah, Marge is just washing some of the bits in here, aren't you? I am. And yeah, getting them ready for tilt, getting them ready for all sorts. So yeah, cool vibes. So yeah, lots of stuff today. I always forget as well with, with the hand picking because I used to, for so long, would buy all the stock from Miami, from Europe, from like UK suppliers who would just sort loads of it. Now, because I'm on more of like a price hunt where I'm like, I need to, I need to get cheaper stock because the ways that I'm selling through like tilt and stuff like that just means that I need cheaper stuff. Um, so yeah, I had to be in the trenches today for about three hours hand picking, but got a lot of stuff. Um, so yeah, it's all getting washed and things like that now. Um, I think you'll be able to see in the corner just there, they are all the bags of orders from the streams the other day. So yeah, had some success from it. People seem to like, people like the tilt buying. Um, if I remember to, insert a clip of tonight's live at 5.30 alongside a little bit of feedback about how that went. Okay, so look, this is me using a makeshift box. If anybody sees this on YouTube, check this out. Look, we're on live here. Look at that big camera. And then look, look how many little pictures there are. Who's that? In the photos, everybody's shouting out on the comments as well. Look, big up to everybody. We famous. Uh, so yeah, this is Tilt. Come and check it out when you are not watching the streams as well. Mahek, you know what we're doing out here. So yeah. Okay, so that is the live done. It is 7.02. Did the live for a couple hours. The hat will make sense by the thing before. Although I'm liking it. Cam from Tracy Beaker is the vibe I'm going for. Um, live was good. Find that people like, when you like build the momentum up with like the lives that I do, it creates a lot of excitement and it gets exciting as well. So we managed to go through, I think about 32 auctions. Uh, so all the stuff behind is things that will be coming soon. Some people picked up some mad stuff. These went for like a pound, two pound. Hugo Boss joggers, other items just went for crazy prices, seriously. Um, so yeah, Tilt was doing its bits, but now it's time to go. Well, time to return back to the next part of the video. I don't know why I'm coming like a news reporter with it, but you know what? Let's just try different formats and see what happens. I'm, um, I'm already realizing that I'm really enjoying this way of just making content. And I think that something that I wanna do with this sort of YouTube channel, because this is kind of like me off the cuff. So like Spen unannounced or, you know, just sort of my thoughts in their moments, whether I, you know, I've got a document on my phone, a document, I've got a notes on my phone that literally has loads of video ideas. And at the minute I'm kind of just figuring out where to place them all. So <clears throat> one of the first bits of um, no knowledge that you can have is that one of the plans I've got in um, January is to basically rebrand Gully Garms. Uh, I'll keep that a bit as a mystery so far, but rebrand it and become kind of like content and um, stock. So this sort of content I'm making right here for YouTube, this isn't gonna be stuff that I put on um, the, the website or anything like that, but the stuff that I'm going to make for the website is going to kind of focus around me, what I've learned being in business and kind of giving tips back along the way. 
similar to this, but there just might be a little bit more of a uh, order with it. Because again, when you kind of work on like a brand level, I would love to do stuff like this, but I don't know how much it would connect with people. And I, I remember the first time I, not the first time, I remember one of the like first few months of like starting to show my face on the brand and I got a bit trigger happy with it. I was a bit like, I got a really good response from one post and then I thought, this is sick, let me just keep going. And then someone put a comment and you always like notice the one negative comment versus all of the support. And this guy just put, just keep to the clothes, mate. And I just thought, oh, just keep to the clothes. Um, you know, when you read one of them comments and it sort of like stabs you and you kind of just hear it and you feel it and you just sense all of that. And then you kind of sit there and, and mull over on it and be like, should I just stop being like this influencer? I think the guy was calling me an influencer. And before getting into it, I think influencers also got so many meanings around it. Um, so I'm not going to fire shots at people who do that for a living. Fun fact, actually, I've, not to be an influencer, but one of the things I'm doing in between now, so just getting some parcels prepared. But after this, before the live at 5.30, so at time of recording this, it's 2.30. Um, so after I've done these parcels, and I've basically got to take those to the post office, I've got some um, I've got some content to make for a company which I don't really want to say it yet because it's not out but yeah they just approached me and they were like they approached me through TikTok and they were like we love what you do uh, we're doing a Christmas campaign uh, and I was a part of me was thinking oh my god this is just this is just my look after being saying all this stuff about like oh, I can't be bothered for Christmas this year getting approached for that felt like you know what it's probably time I do embrace Christmas this year so yeah, I've got to film some of that. Go and get margarine involved as well. I won't be showing any clips of that this one, but you know, I will feed back on one of the days. Um, so yeah, I'll finish this one. I'm not going to do this one too long. I'm in my head. I'm just trialing and erroring with a lot of things like lengths of time on videos, um, concepts in videos. You know, I've I've got topics to discuss for days. Like we can talk about brands. We can talk about like the way the industry's changed and we can talk about apps and, you know, just thought maybe you will, maybe you won't want to see my fit. This is what I'm wearing today. So I've got Ralph Lauren hat, Timberland zip up, shorts. Yes, shorts. The person that when I was handpicking, they were like, it's not summertime. And I was like, I know, but I can move. But I think I'm just finding my feet with what I'm doing. Uh, and alongside that, what I want to do is, so tomorrow, randomly, I'm getting my hair cut um, by somebody who used to model here and he used to be an ASOS model and like at the time I remember like talking through him a few like business things and he ended up like setting himself up as a business and he's doing sick uh, and I've asked him if I can film when I have my hair cut tomorrow he's got a really cool shop his brother works there it's just like super nice settings um, so yeah kind of want to get into clips where you might just, I might just have a conversation with somebody who I'm like meeting up with. That's what I'm going to be doing to my friends now. I'm going to be saying, can I just bring a camera and, and mic you up, please? You know what, at this point, your friends just know what sort of person you are. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really excited by the whole YouTube thing and journey. And even if like nobody's watching it, I quite like this. It feels therapeutic and also it's like a little way of checking in. So yeah. Sometimes the video might focus on a topic, something that's playing on my mind, something within the industry. Other times, I might just be letting you know a little day in the life of a second-hand seller. So yeah, we've been to the hand pick. We're getting prepared for the tilt. I've got to film some ad content for this company. Um, and then, yeah, get ready for the live, pretty much. Um, live at half five. So that'll be cool. Tilt, though. I will say that that's the app that we stream on. Most of the people who are watching this are probably coming from Tilt so far. And if you're not, welcome. Hopefully YouTube algorithm is slowly but surely going to send people who are interested in some boy talking whilst folding clothes in a sort of podcast style, but also not really um, your way. And if so, hey, that was a really long way of me saying like, welcome new people if anybody's watching. But yeah, Tilt. The app where we're selling on, count my blessings with it. 
count my blessings with the relationship I've got with um, this supplier that I've had for the last few years. All things working in nice harmony and nice ways. So yeah, by the time you see this, it'll be Tuesday night, but this was Monday afternoon. Yeah, see you in a bit. <laughs>